Hey everybody, we are jumping back into Inquisition again, episode number seven. Last episode, we saw Haven fall to the Elder One and his dragon. Now, we were able to allow the citizens of Haven to escape with the guards. Um, uh, we saved as many people as we could along the way. There was a big, intense battle. We ended up coming face to face with the Elder One who tried to rip the source right from our hand and to take it for himself. We found out that he has been contemplating this plan for some time and somehow we managed to interfere with it and prevented him from basically not only taking over possibly the world but ascending into potential godhood. So we are now find ourselves beneath Haven. We had fallen through some wood into a pit below and are going to make our way towards wherever the rest of the Haven residents are headed. And I'm really excited for this because I know where we're heading and this is probably part of the story where our leadership really starts to blossom. Um, Having saying that, though, I know that our leadership is based on the role of a d20, so it's not exactly logical or thought out. It's all chaos. But, yeah, this is... I love this game. It's so fun. So, let's get into it. All right. Oh, here we are in a cave. We are... Find a way forward. We are forced to walk the first bit. That. I don't know why we had to walk there. I guess we're just getting our walking under situ situated. And uh, walk off. Oh, now we're seriously injured. Guess we have a bunch of injuries right now. And we, no, now we're fast again. Right there. So I create my own breach. That draws away their life force. That's cold. Through this freezing blizzard. I'm guessing uh, we're moving our way through Canada here. Mid-January. I make it sound worse than it is. <clears throat> Though I have to admit, even as a Canadian, I would prefer to live in a warmer, more tropical climate. Proceed for us. Yeah, I, it's not like I have a lot on. I must be freezing. There we go. I thought something was going to happen. So at the end of the last episode too, we caused an avalanche using one of the trebuchets. And pretty much the only way that we survived, I guess, we were anticipating, I think, that it would either take out or at least slow down, possibly damage the Elder One and the Dragon, which did nothing to them. They escaped without issue while we had to dive into a pit to save our own life. Oh, okay, good. We're out of the blizzard. Frozen stiff, but well, I wonder if I could have examined that other one that was in the last. 
Or if this is just gonna tell me they were this way. Yeah. So it's just gonna tell me that everybody from Haven came through here. But it's not like they left that much more or much that much sooner than I did to have any time to create a fire. And to use it before I would catch up. Like they didn't have like a day lead. It was half hour, I think, maybe an hour. Oh. Thank the maker. We found our people. charge we need a consensus so we have nothing please we must use reason without the infrastructure of the inquisition we're horrible i can't come from nowhere she didn't say it could enough this is getting us nowhere Ooh. dissension in the ranks you need oh rest. hey they've been at it for hours they <coughs> have that luxury thanks to you the enemy could not follow and with time to doubt we turn to blame infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Oh, yeah. We know this well. It's almost like human nature to turn on each other at the drop of a dime. Especially when conflict arises, somebody's always to blame. Now, we'll see what the dice say, which way we're going to go. All right, where's my d12? Straight down the middle. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen him return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure, what we perhaps must come to believe. <sighs> Got five options. Okay, we're going to D20 on this one. 16, so by fours, four, eight, 12. I still don't believe. Whatever the rest of you say, I felt no divine aid at the Conclave or Haven. The struggle ahead seems mine alone. Oh, don't bow. Don't make this more awkward. It's just too much tension. I don't like it. Uh, 
Oh, did he not make it? Well, I mean, at least his last breath was like a sacrifice for the for Haven. Solas. Faith may have yet to find you, but it has already found them. A word. In some ways, Solas reminds me of uh, Spock. Oh, hey, buddy. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. Her faith is hard won, let alone. Oh, big BB. Worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. I won't worry. They trust me. Didn't you see? The people trust me implicitly. Faith tends to make martyrs of its champions. Mm. Whatever the case, that trust cannot grow in the wilderness. You will need every advantage. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. Beautiful. That's cool. I like that. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. Hey, the snow. Still a beautiful view. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Here we go. Love that triumphant music, the overcoming. There she is. Skyhold. Just abandoned too, so. Less arguing now, seeing we're having civil discussions. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus, what drew him to you. There. Uh, my effort for the Inquisition. He came after me because my efforts put the Inquisition in his way. Perhaps in more ways than you've considered. 
Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Yep. So it begins. <clears throat> Do I even get a choice? I can't remember. You. Hmm. But I'm not human. You're offering this to an elf. Are you quite sure you know what you're doing? I would be terrified handing this power to anyone. But I believe it is <coughs> the only way. They'll follow you. To them. Being an elf shows how far you've risen, how it must have been by Andraste's hand. What it means to you, how you lead us, that is for you alone to determine. The pretty sweet sword. Looks like kind of hefty at the hilt, though. Interesting, though. Five choices again. What is that? Seventeen. Sixteen. Seventeen to twenty. An elf will stand for us all. I will lead us against Corypheus. And I will be an ambassador. I'm an elf standing for Thedas. The Inquisition is for all. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> will you fight? <laughs> will we triumph? Cool. Your leader, Chills. Your, Arab, your Inquisitor! Chills. And there's the triumphant music again. It's a good score. Great heartfelt moment for all the trials that are ahead. I forgot this place is an absolute disaster right now. So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Are we safe here? Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. Mm, yeah, when kill me. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. All right. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. Who we'll crossed past the Corypheus? <clears throat> uh, this better be good. I don't have time for a meet and greet, Barrick. You'll get a lot out of this, and it's 
probably overdue. Just come up to the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varek has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs> God, I feel like I should remember who this was, but I don't. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with vampires. All right. First, we are going to... Locate these war the war room and the blacksmith. We've got to get some deets done. This is Josephine's office. This should be the war room. I could be wrong. It's just so nice. There we go. Summon War Council. We'll do a quick little bit here. Um, do what we have to do. All right, now getting to this. Whew, we got a lot. There we go. We have this one. Report ready. Interestingly, the ruins of Alamari in origin, belonging to the tribes that inhabited Feraldon almost a thousand years ago. What is of greater interest, however, is that none of the runes translate intelligibly, meaning it is all in code. According to the translators, a reference to the Guardian also dictates indicates an island off the northern coast the most curious i will continue translation efforts in the hope we can narrow this down further 49 gold received all right um i think on our lays we had one or two two looks like we arrived in perindale to find that the mages had indeed barricaded themselves inside their former circle they met us with some hostility on entry, but the mages were small in number, their defenses easily dispelled. Upon questioning, we discovered that the mages had remained in Perindale following the uprisings. With increasing hostility from the general public, they retreated to the circle for safety. They appealed to us for aid. It is the opinion of the order that these mages are not a threat. We have brought them to the Inquisition so they might aid our cause. Had we not interceded, the dangers these mages posed to the public, or the public to the mages, could easily have ended in bloodshed. Knight Captain Bryoni. Okay. So I guess I'll have that to deal with as well. Oops, I don't want that. I want that. I should have had more faith in my agents. Of course they tracked down Provident, who has sought shelter from the Mage Templar conflict with a wealthy Navarran patron. We provided a brief description of Bianca, and the, and the Provident adapted the design for a leaf spring stabilizer to suit one of her stocks. We were also able to secure his original designs for our own use in siege engines. Alright, I guess pick some new missions. Start from the bottom here. Fallow Mire resources. Blood Lotus and Dawn Lotus are both found in the Fallow Mire. The area is also known for Summerstone and Blue Vitriol. Now that the Inquisition has established a camp in the region, they could instruct the men to seek out these resources and send anything they find to Skyhold. Hmm. Elf root is good for potions. But stone and metal could come in handy. I'm going I'm going to go for stone and metal. Elf root's pretty plentiful in the wild. To work. Hmm, this costs 8 points. I've only got 8. Let's gather some coin. Skyhold is not a center of trade, though it could become one in time. The Inquisition is largely driven by the belief of its supporters, some of whom are quite wealthy. But if it is to grow, it will need access to coin of its own. We have information that many would pay dearly for. Let us sell anything that does not harm us in return. My family has earned coin as an honest trader for generations. I would be happy to employ my skills as the Inquisitor's behalf. Yeah, I think this is better. Like, Secrets are great, but I think having political connections and more of an honest trade route will be better for us. Negative press could run out. Let us begin. Hmm. 
memorial for Hamel. Well, this must be for Josephine directly. Yeah. Can't do that one yet. <coughs> Hinterland resources. The Hinterlands is a notable source of elf fruit and onyx. The Inquisition forces at camp would search for these resources and arrange shipment to Skyhold. Sure, let's send Liliana's group to do that. Okay, then we need power for some of these. So we'll, we'll leave that as is for now. Let's go take a look at some of these other missions on deck. Find the blacksmith. This is where I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, it'll be all right. It's inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. It's been inquisitor for a while, I thought. Well, I mean, I guess not. <clears throat> um. Stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. We need you level. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. How's this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. But ever forward. Do you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Shame about a dumb. Spirits like that, you can't just find. Flissa. So sad. Too young. The rest of us go on. It's what we have to do. You gave us the chance. Thanks for that. Well, Liliana's ready to report in, so that means Colin should be ready as well. Shipment or skin only six. It's like a you read the report. big effort. It was unusual. If you always so blunt. <laughs> yes. Shipment resource from Fallow Myers Rise. Summerstone three, Blue Vitriol three. Okay. I guess these are yeah, redoable. Um this one is got a coin. The Elmari ruins found in the mountain passages outside Haven have finally given up more of their secrets, pointing to one of the larger islands off the northern coast of Ferelden. The island is quite large and covered in dense wilderness, so searching will be an involved process. According to the ruins, however, there should be some connection to the original disciples of Andraste and the guardian of the sacred ashes. Mm. <clears throat> so we have ruins, dense wilderness. Discussed earlier, Ambassador. Involved process. I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost. Yeah, let's give it to Colin and the, the troops. I think that is a better situation for them. Shadows will. Oops, it's not the one I want. Although shadows are rumors, the other one sounds like Liliana. I feel like we should have met, seeing as you were the camp in the western part of my country, until someone wiped Haven off the map. My map. That was annoying. First I have one army in Ferelden without a by your leave, and then there are two? But I digress. My point is that I am King Alistar, ruler of Ferelden, and I have learned who was behind that second army. His cult of Tevinter followers is supposedly in the royal palace somewhere, cackling no doubt. Seeing as your Inquisition knows far more about them, I'm hopeful you could help us find these cultists and ask them to leave. With pointy swords, I don't even want to know what they're up to. One archdemon per age is really all Feraldin can stomach. Thank you very much. All right. Absolutely, Lillian. It's all yours. Josephine's just outside here anyways. Uh, 
I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Corps. The sooner we deal with the threat to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Yes. Yeah. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes and to the death. The Corps' disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress, no matter what. I pray you're right. If the hints from Therin for us be believed, we are all in terrible danger. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. But perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Well, since we're right by coal. How the fudge do you get down there again? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> the order was sent. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him. Or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a man. Yeah. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer. Although the truth is somewhat more complex. How complex? I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact... His nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. I'll talk with him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right... Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to. I'm dying. I I'm. Dead. Get out of their heads. They're in mine. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath. Sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. 
scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Such an odd life. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Sorry, Vivian, but yes. <laughs> roll the dice as he has to stay. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's it looks like I just took a hit on any possibility of hurt. having a relationship it with hurt. Vivian. It she may not hurts. like me so much now. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Oh. Son of a... That was not expected. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't tell him to end that guy's life. That was something else. Okay, Varric. Oh, there he is. And his guest. Inquisitor, meet Hawk. Champion of Kirkwall, though I don't use that title much anymore. I don't remember Arch, much about you. Inquisitor, I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You heard about Haven? I have. That's why we're here now. And why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against Demon. each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His Rattle. name is Stroud. Oh, Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. 
I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. <clears throat> well, I'll make sure of it. Okay. All right, well, I think that's where we'll leave this episode. Things The pace is slowed down a little bit right now. Um, most of this was just like a tour of Castle, I guess, and talking with people, getting their, getting their side of the story, seeing how they feel. I'm probably going to spend some time doing some of the side missions that don't matter as much. Um, get some Inquisition power, maybe get some perks while I'm at it. And yeah, I think in the next episode we will, as long as I can get some, some more powers up, we'll get into some more battles, see if we can get some more alliances. I think we'll save the, the Empress for another time until we have more resources and strength. So, yeah, join me in the next one.